Well, look, in terms of the people deluded enough to believe that the illegal migration crisis we're seeing across from France to England right now in any way be solved by us being in the EU, there's actually a real-life case study playing out right now uh, disproving that completely. Now, perhaps unsurprisingly, it involves the new Italian Prime Minister, Giorgia Maloney, who is already, it's fair to say, ruffling the feathers of the EU establishment. Of course, it was all nicey-nicey when she recently uh, met with French President Emmanuel Macron. But it hasn't taken long for Maloney to actually send shockwaves, really, through much of the EU establishment. Now, this involves a case of a ship that was carrying 234 migrants picked up in the Mediterranean. Now, that's been forced to dock in France because the Italians refused it entry. And Giorgio Maloney has ridiculed a resettlement deal struck with France, Germany and other EU states, saying that it covered just 8,000 migrants this year, less than 10% of the close to 90,000 arriving in Italy in 2022. And you see Maloney quote is saying there, do you know how many have been resettled so far? 117, 38 in France, something isn't working. When she was asked uh, why migrant rescue ships insist on docking in Italy, she says, this is not written in any agreement. I believe it is not fair. And so you have this situation now where Georgia Maloney is pushed back very strongly indeed, uh, forcing the French to accept this ship, the Ocean uh, Viking, carrying 230 migrants. So that's now docked at a French port. Now, that's operated by a French NGO. And just to show you uh, how Maloney has changed this situation already, uh, the French had actually never before allowed a rescue vessel carrying migrants from the Mediterranean to land on its coast, but did this time after the Italian government refused. As for the French, they're saying the migrants were Italy's responsibility under EU rules and that the French move on this case was an exceptional measure. He said that the Italians' refusal to accept the ship uh, was incomprehensible and that there would be severe consequences for relations. Giorgia Maloney herself condemning what she called an aggressive reaction uh, from the French government, saying it was incomprehensible and unjustified. Let's look at this in terms of so-called EU cooperation, that so far this year, 164 people uh, moved from Italy to other nations in the bloc that volunteered to accept them. That, of course, being a fraction of more than 88,000 that have reached its shore this year, 14% arriving after being rescued by NGO vessels. So there you go. Uh, there's your so-called uh, EU cooperation. Giorgio Maloney pushing back very hard already. The French government outraged by what's going on. But wouldn't the British government uh, learn a few lessons here in terms of actually uh, pushing back rather than accepting this ridiculous situation we have of a record number year after year after year of people coming across from France and the French authorities totally failing to stop the illegal migration. I've spoken before about what we should be doing, revoking French fishing licences, finding them and yes, taking the boats back to France and embarrassing Macron's government. But fair to say, uh, Giorgio Maloney already making something of a splash, sending shockwaves through the EU establishment. And I don't think she's very popular right now in Paris. Let me know what you make of that in the comments below, guys. Do you agree with the Italian government's stance on this? As ever, I will keep bringing you the very latest. So please do whack this video a quick thumbs up. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.